Shoshi Yokoya. Yokoya was born in 1915, March 31. Yeah. So this guy is old. Initially, Yokoya was served in the 29th Infantry Division in the Manchkoi, in Manchkoi, somewhere. Uh, in 1943, he was transferred to the 38th Regiment in the Marina Islands. You, I will put a picture on the corner for the Marina Islands. And arrived on Guam in February 1943. When American forces captured the island in the 1944 Battle of Guam, I'll also show you pictures, Yokoya went into hiding with nine other Japanese soldiers. Seven of the original ten eventually moved away, and only three remained in the region. These men separated, but visited each other periodically, you know, between times, until about 1964 when the other two men died in a flood. Bad. For the last eight years, Yokoya lived alone. He survived by hunting primarily at night. He also used native plants uh, to make clothes, bedding, and strange implements, and storage implements, and so on, yeah, which he carefully hid in his cave. Now, on the evening of 24 January, 20, January 24, 1972, Yokoya was discovered in the jungle by a man named Jesus De De Dennis or something and Manuel de Gracia. So I guess this guy is French and Mexican or something like that. Anyway, the two local men checking their shrimp traps apparently along a small river on Talafufu. That's a that's a cool name. Okay. Uh, they had assumed Yokoya was a villager from Talafufu, <laughs> but uh, he thought his life was in danger, so he attacked them. They managed to seduce him. I'm sorry, did I just say Sedusa? Shit. Sit. Subdue him. They fucked him up. And carried him out of the chuckle with uh, minor bruising, they said. It is with much embarrassment that I returned when he returned to Japan. The remark quickly actually became a popular saying in Japan, apparently. Uh, despite having hidden for 28 years in the jungle cave, he. He had known, actually, since 1952 that the World War II was over. Uh, but he feared coming out of hiding. When they asked him, he explained by saying, Well, we Japanese soldiers were told to prefer death to the disgrace of getting captured alive. Trying to do a voice offer, don't judge me. No, Yokoya was the... Oh, he was some kind of really cool soldier or something, a uh, Japanese soldier. Uh, they, they would they, they would refuse to surrender even after the war, and uh, apparently yeah, they have some really messed up rituals as a soldier. Now, now I'm not I'm not gonna go ahead. Like I said, the guy was born in 1915, March 31, but he died September 22. 1997. Holy shit! So the guy lived. He lived. He lived good. He lived a good job. Good amount of, you know, years. Because you know, you would think like, okay, what what did he do when he got back to Japan? Well, apparently, well, how I say this? Apparently, the guy have he of he got over the whole issue of. Uh, of you know feeling guilt and embarrassment from uh, from everything uh, and he got over it and he got married which is cool he got married uh, <clears throat> he got married and uh, then you know he you know he got married and he died a heart attack later in 1997 at the age of 82 huh now I don't know how to say this. This is weird. This guy's, this guy's weird. Like to be honest, I, I, I mean, this is messed up. How messed up do they 
does a person have to have to be to be actually like how much stuff is it for this army to do like the training and the mentality of them that I'm not gonna say it's cool. Some people may think it's cool. It's cool in a way, but it's not. It's messed up. That this guy was uh, he, he he lost his, his entire life by living in the jungle. He lost all. He lost 28 years. 28 years of his life. 28 years ain't something. Jesus, I'm not 28 yet. Imagine I lose 28. I'm not gonna be born yet. So he lost 28 years of his life in the jungle. Well, maybe he's not possible. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, it's a cool story, but it's not something, you know, it, uh, yeah, God damn Japan. Well, and I wonder, actually, I wonder how did the two other, other two flood, you know, how did they die in the flood? And they, they lost the entire life. At least this motherfucker, he, he, he got to live, he got married, and fuck again. And come on, that's good. But the other two just died in the flood, and the other, so there were ten. Uh, three survived, seven died or something. I don't remember what uh, the seven happened to the seven. Uh, these men, uh, okay, so the seven, uh, eventually, the seven moved away. Uh, they didn't say, they didn't say if the seven actually uh, survived or something. They just said they moved away. What the hell does moved away mean? Did they live? Did they die? Someone fucked them or something? No one knows. Anyway, but from the ten, seven moved away. They did not yes, mention sir. the seven in this entire article, and uh, you know they only talked about the three. Actually, they only talked about him, uh, Shoshi Yokaya, which is also a weird name to be honest. But they talked about this dude, and uh, they only mentioned that the other two guys died in the flood. How the hell did they do? They could probably just discover their plot, but you know, messed up story, but fun. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen, and don't forget to subscribe, and that's it. Thank you. Goodbye.